Hi, that is very good evening. So the purpose of making this video to discuss four topics today. First topic is the uh, topic, uh, topic of the day. So I'm going to discuss topic of the day. Uh, second topic is the post-market analysis of uh, Nifty and Bank Nifty. Third topic I'm going to discuss about this uh, trade plan for this tomorrow. And fourth topic I'm going to discuss about uh, how to select the options to avoid time decay. So these are the four topics I'm going to discuss. And today, uh, particularly education topic, I'm going to discuss about this uh, types of CPR. So previous video, I'm uh, discuss about the CPR. Today, I'm going to discuss about types of CPRs. So uh, there are three types of the CPR. So one is the narrow CPR. Narrow CPR. And second one is the wide CPR. Wide. And third one is the virgin CPR. So these are the three types of the CPR. So I will discuss about this CPRs, okay? So coming to this narrow CPR. So when you see this uh, lines, three lines very near, and this uh, candles are not able to fit in the range. So we can consider as a narrow CPR. So I'm repeating once again, three lines. If it is candles are not fit into this uh, in the CPR range. So we can consider as a narrow CPR. Second is a wide CPR. So wide CPR means candles are room to move. So in between candles are room to move. So we can consider as a wide CPR. So this is a wide CPR. Okay. So another third is the virgin CPR. So that means once price is opening above the CPR range, okay? So particular day, for example, today price is opening above the CPR, but it is not yet touched to the CPR. It may touch the CPR, but is not uh, stable, uh, not able to uh, stay in the CPR. So we can consider it as a virgin CPR. Once again, I'm repeating you. So candles, see price action is above the CPR or below the CPR. And this price action is not a touch to the in the CPR. So we can consider as a virgin CPR. So I'm going to show some example uh, in this uh, trade plan. So virgin CPR are very important. So the, I'm going to discuss about this more uh, details about this uh, trade plan. Okay. Uh, now let's discuss about this post market analysis of uh, Bank Nifty. Okay. And if you see this first five minutes candle, exactly, this is an important liquidity locations. First, we'll discuss the post market analysis, then I will come to for this liquidity locations. So, exactly, take the support from, from this important liquidity location and first candle closes around these levels. So, after that, prices went to for these levels. And based on our trade plan, if you see this, this candle, so this candle angle with this bearish candle, right? So, this is the as per our trade plan, is a short opportunity. We can keep the stop loss above this candle high and target with this previous day low or 2R. So this is the opportunity. But unfortunately, I will show you the range. So entry around this 34,650. Stop loss is 34,740. Let's take 750. This is the underpants of the stop loss. So we are enter here. So after that, prices came for this level and this candle hit the stop loss. So this is a stop loss got triggered. So after that CPR breakout and based on the situations, we are, see, we are the retail traders. We are looking for this only 100 to, 100 to 120 pants of the stop loss. If it is stop loss is more than 120 pants, we, we are not going to uh, take any trade. We are looking for the retracement opportunity. Once get the confirmation candle, then only we are going to enter the trade. So this is our plan. And if you see, this is a breakout is happening. The CPR breakout, so chances are high for this going upside, but we are not going for the long. Why? Because if you see this candle range, this is a breakout, right? So entry is the 34, 8, 10, and stop loss is the 34, 6, 10. It's a 200 pants of the stop loss. So this is not a valid entry. So one stop loss got triggered, 100 pants of the loss, okay? After that, price went to up to this level. So again, came for this uh, below the CPR, but here is there is no engulf candle. We are looking for around this pivot point levels. Why? Because CPR is very wide. If you see this, CPR is very wide CPR. And if you see this CPR range starting from this 34, 582, 796, almost 210 points of the CPR is a very wide CPR. Okay. So in this cases, we are looking for this opportunity around this 
pivot point level. This is a pivot point and this is the top CPR and this is the bottom CPR. And if you see this, bearish engulfed candle. This is the second opportunity. We can take the trade decision around these levels, uh, 34, 660, and we can keep the stop loss above these levels. So 720. So only 60 points of the stop loss and target is very big. And if you see this, starting from this range, 34, 662, it went up, to, it uh, came up to 34, 330. Almost 330 points of the movement is happening with the 60 points of the stop loss. Remember traders, always we believe the system. If it is sometimes stop loss may trigger. In this first three months, uh, hardly uh, four to five times stop loss got triggered and uh, uh, Friday also one stop loss got triggered. It's just six times. And rest of the days is given for this very accurate results. And this trade plan is going to work more than 80% of the times and is given, going to give this very big profits. So after that, see this. So finally, price closes around these levels. So one is failure and one is given for this big profit. That is about this post-market analysis. And let's check with this uh, Nifty. Coming to Nifty, price is opening around these levels and the uh, breakout will happen. So based on this breakout, we can go for the long, but I'm clearly said this is a narrow CPR. So narrow CPR already I discussed. Narrow CPR means candles are not fit into this CPR. We can consider as a narrow CPR. So most of the time, narrow CPR cases, it may not work as a strong support. Why more wider CPR is a more stronger, more narrow CPR is more weaker. So this is not a valid entry. And if any chances, if you went around this level, went long around this level, 16, 615 and stop loss is a 16, uh, 570. So it's a 45 pounds of the stop loss and it went up to uh, 694. Almost 80 pounds of the moment has given. But this is a narrow CPR, 80 pounds of the moment has given. After that, prices came for this levels and jigjag. See, Friday market is a total jig-jag market. So we got only two opportunities in uh, Bank Nifty and Nifty is a, there is no particular opportunity based on this CPR, okay? Now let's discuss about the trade plan for this, the, uh, trade plan for this tomorrow. So regarding this trade plan, we need to check six important liquidity locations. What are the six important liquidity locations? Before that, we need to do the pre-market analysis. First, we need to do four things we need to do. Pre-market analysis. Second is liquidity locations third is find the direction fourth is follow the sets so sets stand for stop loss entry target and position size so in future i'm going to discuss about these sets also so these are the four things we need to identify and if you see this uh, based on this price action so we mark this yesterday so this is a previous day high and this is a previous day Sorry, this is a previous day low, not here. This is a previous day low. One moment, traders. Yeah. So already mark this uh, previous day high and previous day low levels, and this is the CPR range. And we need to find this wedge in CPR gap orders, demand and supply zones. So coming to this, uh, exactly price taken this support around these levels is multiple times, not only one time. You see this. So that's the reason I marked these levels. So this level uh, 34,092, this is very strong support levels. And let's check with this uh, bigger time frame. See this multiple times price take the support this level so we can consider as a strong support zone. And if any, uh, so if you see this on 10th March, so price gap up opening and price traded around these levels. So price is not a touch to the CPR. So we can consider it as a virgin CPR, okay? And here also one more virgin CPR. If you see this, 9th March. Some VIX is there, but candles are not at st uh, stable in the CPR. So we can consider it as a virgin CPR. So uh, downside is back-to-back -back virgin CPR. So along with this is a strong support zone. Coming to this upside, uh, upside, uh, this is a weekly, p uh, weekly pivot. So 35, uh, 754. So apart from that, this is a recent swing high. So 36, 8 and 809 is a a recent swing high. So that may act as a strong rejection. So in between is nothing is there. So some consolidation. So there is no strong rejection zone. So based on this, we can plan our trade. And first we need to check the CPR range. So in between is a pivot point is available. So top CPR, bottom CPR and pivot point. So this is a top CPR and this is a bottom CPR in between is a pivot point. Let's check with this CPR range starting from this. 34485 
234532 so very uh, medium cpr uh, close to 50 to 55 60 pounds of the cpr is a medium cpr so, so this is a previous day high based on the situation if any chances price closes above the cpr range so we can travel up to this previous day high range this is the previous day high so this is the previous day high range uh, remember traders always check with this risk reward if any flat opening uh, with a small candle we can go for the long or if any uh, this type of candle parabolic candle so wait for the retracement around this level so once get the confirmation with the bullish angle candle then only we can go for the long so this is a trade plan one and if any chances price uh, gap up opening closes above this r1 levels so this is a previous day high so 34883 so this is r1 level so 34920 so once break this level so then chances are high for this price reaches to this r2 levels so r1 breakout we can travel up to this r2 level so this is a direct opportunity but always check with the risk reward and if any parabolic candle like this so just wait for the retracement so once price take the support there around this level so then we can enter the trade with the confirmation candle uh, bullish pin bar candle or bullish candle or bullish engulf candle so then only we can take the trade decisions and coming to the downside if any chances price closes below the cpr range so wait for the retracement opportunity once price rejection from this cpr range so we can enter the trade and our target would be this previous day uh, this is a previous day low levels so if it is direct opportunity also if it is risk reward matching then only you can travel up to this levels so always check with the risk reward traders once match the risk reward then only we can uh, able to take the trade decisions okay and coming to downside if any chances price uh, gap down opening price closes below this uh, previous day low level so definitely we can travel up to this s2 levels so where is the s1 s1 is this levels right so 34 130 or if any big parabolic candle like this cases so wait for the retracement once price came for the uh, uh, previous day low level with r1 level with uh, confirmation bearish pin bar candle or bearish angle candle so we can travel up to this uh, s2 levels this s1 level and this is s2 levels so uh, remember traders always check with this uh, uh, wedge in cpr it may act as a strong support once price reaches to that levels okay so now let's discuss about this nifty so coming to this nifty first we need to check this pre market analysis already done previous day high and previous day low and this is the cpr range so along with that any important levels so this is a gap order is there gap order and this is a 16 8 it may act as a strong rejection coming to this downside uh, this is also act as a strong support this pink line 16 400 uh, and this is a wedge in cpr so downside is a back to back wedge in cpr and uh, this pink line also is act as a strong support so based on this we can plan our trade First, we need to check this CPR range. CPR range starting from this 16580 uh, to 16614 is a 34 points of the CPR. So we can consider as a uh, medium CPR. And in between pivot point is available. So in between around these levels, okay. And this is a uh, top CPR and this is a bottom CPR. This is a pivot point. And if any chances uh, flat opening price take the support from the CPR range. So definitely we can travel up to this previous day. high level so one moment traders uh, yeah so this is a previous day high level so always check with the risk reward once match the two are then only we can travel up to this levels or if any parabolic candles like this wait for the retracement around this level so pivot point with the confirmation candle then only we can travel up to this previous day high level or if any gap up opening price closes above this r1 level so remember traders r1 breakout will happen uh, once r1 breakout will happen then only we can go for the long so r12 we can travel up to this uh, r2 levels this r2 levels check with the risk reward traders once match the risk reward then only we can uh, travel up to this r2 level or this uh, gap order levels okay and coming to this downside if any chances price closes little gap down opening price closes below this cpr range so we can travel up to this previous day low range and once match the risk reward because of this uh, uh, see uh, close to 30 points of the cpr right 14 and uh, 35 pants of the cpr so 35 pants is okay uh, so easy to get 70 pants so it's not a big deal so always check with the risk reward once match the risk reward then only we can travel up to this levels or if any gap down opening price uh, closes below this previous day low level here is very tricky trader so always uh, we should respect for this uh, uh, pink lines pink line is a strong support uh, area so don't go for the short 
let's wait for this breakout will happen so then price come for the retracement around this previous day low level so then only we can travel up to this s2 levels so remember traders this is a s1 and s2 around this level so once match the risk reward then only we can uh, take the trade decision this is a retracement opportunity and this is a direct opportunity based on the risk reward and this is also a retracement opportunity based on this see traders if it is uh, 35 points of the risk definitely we are going for the long because of the risk reward is matching or if any this type of parabolic candles cases so try to avoid the trade wait for the retracement opportunity around these levels pivot levels so there's a trade plan for this tomorrow now i'm going to discuss this important uh, topic how to select the options to avoid time decay so nifty closes uh, 16 630 16 650 is the spot price so the difference is the 30 point, uh, 20 points of the difference is there 630 now 650 right and if any chances price uh, expecting to going down so that cases uh, you can select plus 3 250 minus would be the better so which is the 16900 16900 trading at 370 so 370 is the premium so what is the distance from here is a 250 plus 270 so 270 point of the 270 points of the intrinsic value this is the iv intrinsic value this is a premium. So 100 points of the time value is available for this put options. So 100 points of the time value, this time value up to this Thursday. So once you get this high probable trade, then only we can go for the trade decision. At the same time, if you are expecting market is going upside, so that cases you can select plus uh, 16400 call option. So which is trading at uh, 375. So 375 is the 375 is the premium, right? Uh, coming to intrinsic value 400 to uh, 630 so 230 points of the 230 points of the intrinsic value so premium is 375 and uh, 230 is the uh, intrinsic value so this is a 240 uh, sorry 140 points of the time value so call option is having a little higher time value 140 points and put option is having 100 points of the time value. So this time value up to Thursday. Now let's discuss about this uh, bank nifty. So coming to this bank nifty. Okay. Uh, bank nifty closes around this uh, 34,546. So 34,500 is the spot price and the difference is the, uh, let's take 50 pants. Instead of 46, 50 pants would be the better. And if you are expecting market is going down, so that cases you can select uh, 35,000. So it's trading at 930. So 930 is the time value. Oh, sorry, this is the premium. 930 is the premium. And the distance is a 450 points of the distance. 450 points of the distance is a 480 points of the time value is available in uh, put option. So highest time value is available in this put option, even deep in the money options also. Once you get this high confirmation trade, then only we can take the trade decisions. And at the same time, if you're expecting market is going upside, so that cases we can select uh, 34,000 would be the better. So which is trading at uh, 30, 1030. So 1030 is the premium. The distance is a 550 points. So here also 480 points of the time value. So call side, put side, both are is having 480 points of the time value. So deep in the money also is the highest time value is available in this call and put options. So once get the high probable trade, then only we can take the trade decision traders. And uh, uh, that's it for uh, today. And I hope you're enjoying this video. So if, you uh, uh, if you're enjoying this video, kindly like it and kindly share it to your trading community. The objective of this uh, giving this trade plan each and every day to help to uh, retail and novice traders to become a successful and professional. Thank you very much traders and this is Ashok Gomera signing off and good night to all.